Hey everybody, Bryce Larson here. Um, we are doing the barrel brake test, which we've got, we're one insert in. Um, this is how much paint we've shot through the first insert. It's about 3, 3,500 rounds. Um, we wanted to make sure we had our system in place before we did the intro video, so we did our first um, insert, just to, the first barrel size, just to, to make sure that we were working the way we wanted to be. Catch rig, um, pretty similar to what we did in the, uh, in the uh, efficiency test. It works pretty good. I'll chop in a piece of the video of this thing catching paint. Um, paint's messy, but we're saving a large portion of them are not breaking, which is going to make cleanup way easier. Don't know if the paint is worth saving. There's a ton of shell in there. Um, we'll see what we do. So this is our catch rig. Obviously, so we've got the, the car wash strips, some plastic ones in there. There's some towels and then heavy canvas at the back. Um, it's working great, except when Gordon misses like that pink one down there. That was the first test. Doesn't stop. That was my first. first shot of the day. Okay, I'm sorry. I was hip shooting. Obviously, shooting the, the two by fours it doesn't it doesn't protect those. Into the car wash strips works pretty good. All right, uh, Cockapunk here, uh, Gordon, and here's the gun we're using. It's a 05 Cyborg. We got a Tadal board in it. Uh, we're just using it on NXL, full auto at I think 14. Um, and we got the freak kit. Uh, we're running a, a uh, Sidewinder reg. And we got it wired up through a remote to a scuba tank so we don't have to worry about fills. Because um, that would be a pain if we're shooting, you know, 10 pieces of paint to fill up. So I got uh, my cleaning station here. And what we do is I got uh, 15 10 round tubes duct taped together. So we got 150 balls. Fills up the halo pretty well. You can see I uh, got a scoop on there. Uh, yeah. funnel and then after I shoot or if I see a break I stop shooting immediately and then we take the hopper off feed the balls into this and then count them so we count uh, and then we subtract that number from 150 and we know exactly where in the string of shots we broke a ball and then we record that in our data sheets uh, we've been chronoing each new one at about 285 um, and uh, yeah, other than all my miscellaneous cleaning gear, that's pretty much this. Okay, so the most important thing we found on this test is that you need something to clean up with. Because regardless of whether the ball's breaking or not, we're handling every single one while we're tubing them up. This is a sloppy test. Going data right into here, um, you probably won't be able to see the screen, but the, the way we're doing it is I'm basically taking a tick mark here every time Gordon puts a, um, a 150 balls into his halo. Then if it breaks, he dumps them into that cardboard box, I count them. We know how far back into the 150 we broke. That gives us a total. What I'm doing is I'm recording a number in the spreadsheet per break. So if it's been 300 rounds since the last break, or 92, or 819, and then I'm marking next to it between the difference between the barrel break and the chop. We'll get into this when we do our, um, our information on it. I think that's going to be really important. We're finding a lot of chops at the last ball that the halo is throwing into the gun. We think it's bouncing off the bottom and getting chopped, bottom of the breech and getting chopped doesn't really count as a barrel break. So how we handle that data, we're not sure. We're going to chat about it later. Um, so yeah, we're filling here out of this cardboard box. Same 150 rounds. I hand those off to Gordon. He dumps them in the gun. Um, everything's good. That's our methodology. Hopefully it should get us pretty inform interesting information. Um, as I said before, we started by doing the first one, the 679. We wanted to make sure the rig was working and make it consistent and find out how many shots we're going to need to do to get good data. We put um, just under 3,000 rounds through the 679. We'll see how many rounds we need to get through the other size inserts in order to make a useful product.